Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk. Today I'm pleased to have with us in studio Miss Williams, also known, or I guess today known as Miss Karen, Karen William Ames. Ms. Williams was a home economics teacher specializing in food and nutrition and home management at McKenzie High School. Good afternoon, Mr. James. I'm thankful to be a part of your program. Let's talk. Excellent. I'm so glad you're able to take some time out to share with us your experience at McKenzie High School. If, if you were able to, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your connection as it relates to McKenzie High School? I know you started off as a student and you were honored and given an opportunity, which I think in itself was a golden opportunity to share your learn experience with students at McKenzie High School. If you don't mind breaking it down, can you tell us a little bit about what that experience is like for you as an individual, please? Okay, Mr. James. No, I am... Um... I was a student at McKenzie High School indeed. That's my alma mater. And I really appreciate what I've gained from McKenzie High School. I studied in the area of home economics. I went off to teacher's training college. I became a trained teacher in home economics. Then I went back to Linden. I went back to Linden in 1994 after graduating from the teacher's training college, I then taught at the Karakara Primary School, mm -hmm. where I opted to go to my alma mater to teach. I then thought to myself, since I am a past student of, past student of Mackenzie High, I should go back there to serve. So I've decided to go to the ministry and ask them kindly if they can please put me to teach the students at McKenzie High so I can share my knowledge with them. I then was placed at McKenzie High School in 1994, where I was placed in the Home Economics Department, of course, because that's my area of study. I've taught there for four years, approximately four years. Yes, from 1994 to 1998, where I left, then left Mackenzie High, I went to further my education at the University of Guyana, where I did the, the degree in home economics, the degree program in home economics. I was successful. I spent some of the time teaching at Central High School in Georgetown, where I was teaching performance again. I must say that when I went to McKenzie High School, let's backtrack a little. When I went to teach at McKenzie High School, I was teaching home economics, food and nutrition. So going to teach at Central, they were not doing food and nutrition. So I had to push the home management CXC program. No, I enjoyed it, even though it was a change. I really enjoyed it. And as I'm saying, I really enjoyed it because up to today, I'm still teaching no management. Never taught food and nutrition at CXC level after then, after McKenzie High School. But I spent my years in Georgetown teaching, living after. I got married during that time also. Then I went to, then in 2007, I came to Antigua to live. So I'm here presently in Antigua, pushing the home economics program again. Of course, when I came to Antigua, I was not doing food and nutrition, home management, nor food and textile. I was actually teaching at a primary school because I had to get a job and they were not ready for me as yet at the Ministry of Education here. So I taught at primary and even lessons that we call here after class, all these things before I actually got into the government system. I'm in the government system here in Antigua for four years now. And there again, I'm pushing home management at the CXC level. But presently, I'm excitedly waiting for CXC results because I've sent up 11 students this year. And I know I forever get good results. I, I do remember you. I think I did clothing and textile and home economics of form one to form three. 
And I remember you were a young teacher and you were a cutie, I should say. Um, <laughs> you, you still are today. <laughs> but, Thank you. Um, <laughs> I remember you were always nice and you were always kind to us. And I, I, I think one of the things I can remember most about you is the fact that you were not as that much older than we were. And uh, we were able to build that relationship with you and we were able to connect with you on that level. While being respectful, I, I, I think we were able to form a, a really comfortable connection with you whereby you could have relate to us and influence change in our little lives in a very positive and progressive way. Um, can you share um, some of your experiences at McKenzie High School? And if at all, I may ask, can you tell us about one student, I'm sure that student won't be me, but one student that stood out for you and one of your, if at all possible, one of your main achievements, it being a student that you were able to impact change or influence um, uh, some kind of positive transitional, um, progressive, uh, I guess, upgrade in a student's life. If you can think, if you can think about a student, or if you can tell us a story connected to that, I think it'll be awesome. Okay, Mr. James. I must say, I've impacted a lot of lives at McKenzie High. Now, sometimes we do not realize what we have done, but when students reveal certain things to us, then we would recognize how important we were in their lives. Mm -hmm. Now, I can name so many students, but I would would not be able to name all of them at present, but two that stood, or three I should say, that, that stood out at different levels. I would say Marion Burnett, Nyota mm -hmm. Peters. The two of them really stood out for me because they were basically athletic. Right. But I tried my best. I pushed them a lot so they can be where they are today. And I'm so proud of them because they encouraged me they really encouraged me to work with them because they were eager to learn mm -hmm. they were eager to learn so i worked over time especially with marion burnett okay and that is for that but michelle easton no michelle easton headley she was a very good student too i really appreciated her because of the level she was at and it made, of course, it made my work easy because right. she was encouraging. She was a loving person, a caring person. Right. And recently I heard her mention me and I felt really proud, really, really proud of her. Yes. Okay? Really proud of her. Very good. I, you know, it, for me, I, I guess for me, I went on and I did agriculture science. But what I can remember of you is that, uh, you know, you were always so kind and caring and um, you, you taught us how to stitch. And today, <laughs> as, as, as simple as it, it, it may sound, a, a lot of people are not, th these are called life learned skills. A lot of people just don't have these skills and these abilities there. They're not able to do it. So, for example, a, a simple stitching job, let's say, for example, in the shoulders, get a little uh, crack. I, I'm, I'm able to do that repair on my own. I'm, I'm able to do stuff that's changing my body and, and helping myself um, and doing little simple stuff as it relates to um, assisting myself, uh, make small corrections on my, 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 my clothing, right? And I think in itself, that is a big deal for me. Um, I, I know how to press my own shirts. I know how to prepare myself. Mm -hmm. And that in itself, I would say it's, it's, some, it's, it's a gift that not everyone has, and I, I will forever be grateful to, to, to you for all that you've done for me. And I, I mean, I, I don't want to go on and on, but um, all, all that teachers do for students, it being many years ago and today, it goes a long way in um, assisting them be better people going forward. Uh, my final question to you is, what do you think we can do as a group or as an organization or association, what it may be, to influence change in the life of one student or maybe a, a, a couple of students um, at McKenzie High School today? Okay, Mr. James. Now, asking about what we can do, 
to help students of Mackenzie High School, I will speak in general. Being a gnome economics teacher for so many years, I'm proud of being a gnome economics teacher. That's firstly, I must say, I'm very proud of being a gnome economics teacher. As you would have said, that you, I impacted you because you learn how to do to iron, you learned how to stitch and all these things. And some of them would, have say, would say they learn how to cook and they learn how to do other stuff, right? right. And I think we have to continue the, the home economics program. It's very important because they are life skills. We need them. Some persons may not think that they need them, but we need them. And since we so need them, we need to improve the conditions in which learning will take place. Okay, we need to improve the conditions. Now, I must say, I've left Mackenzie High a few years ago, maybe 20, 22 years ago. But since I've left, in fact, I must say, when I left, we had stores, we had some equipment, we had some equipment, mm. but I'm not sure to stay there in presently. So since we need all of these things now, since we need to continue the program, we need to have some of these maybe in a deplorable state. So we should think about equipping the department. Now, fridges may be damaged, old, whatever it might be, maybe stoves, whatever it is, if we can help. To replace them, it would be great on us trying to help our alma mater. In fact, it's my alma mater and I was a teacher there. Excellent. And I'm proud to be. Very good. Um, I think we'll leave it there. Miss Williams Ames, it's been an honor and privilege. Um, I will say this on behalf of myself and um, a lot of people who share the same sentiments. Teachers are the backbone of this society. P teachers are the backbone of, of, of the world, if I may. And I, I appreciate all that you've done and the fact that you continue to be in education. I think that in itself, yeah, it's, it's worth me taking my hats off to you. Um, I, I want to commend you for continuing to influence change in the lives of students, um, wherever and whoever you may come in contact with. And I salute you for your service and um, all that you've done for me as a student at McKenzie High School, I'll say it has made me the person who I am today. Um, a lot of the, the takeaways is, is sometimes not always about home economics and food and nutrition. It's about that personal relationship and, and you being there and looking out for students, uh, looking out for the underdogs, taking care of people like the um, Marianne Burnett, and the Niola Peters. I think that in itself is the biggest reward. Yes, you get a paycheck and this and that, but um, the biggest reward of teaching is for you to be able to come and share your experiences. As I was able to influence change in the life of one student. Um, can you just imagine what impact you can have on a student in the form one or form two level if you're not nice to that student? Can you imagine if you were a bad teacher, if you were a little rough teacher, what impact, how it can affect a student transitioning onto a, a higher level? For that, and for the experience I had with you in, in the lower grades, I am pleased and honored to say thank you. And I'm sure I, I share the sentiments of many other students from McKenzie High School who've had the honor and privilege and the experience of being a part of your um, class your home economics and your clothing and textile and home management section. Thank you very much for spending your time with us. God bless you and continue to shine and continue to be a good role model for students wherever you go. Thank you to Mr. James. I'm truly honored to be or to have been your teacher and of course teachers of the other students. And I'm proud of all of you, just as you're proud of me. Thank you. All right, I think Listen. we'll leave it. I think we'll leave it there. Stay safe and continue shining. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye.